Coming up on a crucial week in the fight against coronavirus in the Carolinas, case numbers and hospitalizations still near record highs as we approach another major holiday. Here is a look at today's COVID numbers in the Carolinas, the Tar Heel State is at an even 6900 new cases up from yesterday, but down from Friday's record high of more than 8500. South Carolina's daily cases went down slightly today to nearly 2600 new positives. Despite the rising metrics, we saw plenty of crowds this weekend in Charlotte for the ACC championship, a viral video at Clutch Kitchen and Poorhouse showing a big gathering without masks or social distancing. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson has more on the warnings from health officials ahead of the holidays and as more vaccine doses arrive in hospitals this week. Lexi. Health officials have been urging people not to gather, especially since there's been a surge in COVID cases. But despite that, we continue to see people get together in large crowds as the second vaccine rolls out. More vaccine help is on the way. The first shipments of the Moderna vaccine en route to the Tar Heel State. North Carolina will receive 175,000 doses with more than half of those 96,000 doses going to long term care facilities. Compared to the Pfizer vaccine, Moderna's can be stored in standard refrigerators and has a longer shelf life. It does not need the ultra cold storage that the um, Pfizer vaccine needs. And because of that, there's going to be you know, broader distribution. This as the COVID surge is crushing records in hospitals. We absolutely have to adhere to the public health measures that we're talking about all the time. Like mask wearing, social distancing, and avoiding crowds. But at Clutch Kitchen and Poorhouse Saturday, just the opposite. Employees behind the bar not wearing masks in a pretty packed house. No social distancing here. According to Charlotte's COVID violation database, this weekend at least two reports were filed with CMPD reporting Clutch Kitchen and Poorhouse for public gathering. And I did reach out to CMPD and they say that anyone who wants to report a COVID violation, they can do so by calling 311. As for any businesses that may have been charged over the weekend, that information is not yet readily available. Now, I did reach out to Clutch Kitchen and Poor House and they have yet to get back to me in time for this newscast. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.